In this video, we'll be going over bar sizes. Now, bar sizes are useful for changing the resolution of a chart based on time, price, or volume movements. And there are several ways within Motive Wave to change the bar size and type. The most convenient way is to use the bar size selector found at the bottom of the chart here, where you can simply click on any of the tabs to change the bar size. Now you can also use the bar size dropdown found in the toolbar, or the bar size dropdown found right next to the symbol in the upper left hand corner of the chart. By right clicking on the chart, you can also select other supported bar types such as tick, volume, range, and Renko. And if you select chart settings and then click on bar settings and bar size, you will also notice point and figure. Okay. MotorWave comes with a default set of bar sizes, but you can create your own bar sizes from the Preferences dialog via Configure, Preferences, Chart, Bar Sizes, and all these bar sizes here, they become available in the dropdown, being here, and the dropdown as well found here. Now you can, let's go back, Configure Preferences, Chart, Bar Sizes. Now you can add or remove more here from this panel. So for instance, if I wanted to add I don't see it there, but let's say I added a seven hour. Click OK. Now the seven hour becomes available from the drop down menu. So we can see here and here. Okay, now we can also configure the bar size selector here. Now the bar size selector, as you can see, has the bar sizes here, and those can be changed via configure, preferences, chart, we go over to bar size selector, and from here we can remove the ones that we don't want. For instance, this one, maybe that one, and we can add a four hour that's what I wish to do. Apply. And now that you'll see in the bar size selector, the changes are reflected here. So the ones that I've added are now showing, and the ones that I removed are no longer showing. And to the far right of the bar size selector, along with changing the chart to a semi log scale and creating and saving templates, we have the bird's eye view, um, which also allow you to scroll. And here, you can also select the time span if you want to see a selective amount of data, for instance, this week, or you can even go to a specific date. Okay, so that wraps up this video, and we'll see you in the next.